I was always a little political, you know, but it was just manifest more when I got to be hanging around with politicos, you know, or political people, you know. And usually you are who you hang around with. We were all as ourselves, and you can pick most of the Beatle records. A few of them are obviously of an era, oh. but most of them sound pretty au courant. when you were 15? I was thinking, you know, if only I can get out of Liverpool and be famous and rich, wouldn't it be great? <laughs> I was always thinking that I was going to be a famous artist, you know? He's one of the most famous people of the 20th century and probably one of the most important musicians of all time. This truly is a social document for our time. I'm not saying that we're better or greater or comparing us with Jesus Christ as a person or God as a thing or whatever it is. You know, I just said what I said and it was wrong or was taken wrong. message that transcends all the ages. It, it wasn't just for, like I said, I was a young Beatle fan. It's not just for, you know, people in their 50s and 60s. It's, he's, he's got a universal message and it was just, you know, love each other and, and you know, peace. That's all he wanted. We're going to stay in bed for seven days, sort of, instead of having a Probably private honeymoon. Day. It's a private protest. For the violence that's going in the world, you see. To say, uh, Be sure that instead of making war, it's better to just stay in bed. Let's stay in bed. A rabbin who came to Toronto, the rabbin Feinberg, in talking to John, he mentioned, John, you got to give peace a chance. So he had to give a chance to peace. But John said, ah, oh, but it's a nice phrase. And he put to compose spontaneously the chanson Give Peace a Chance. He 
said that there was almost nothing left of Beatles. When I said those statements, I, A, I was bitter and upset, emotionally upset, because we just split up, you know. I call it a divorce, right? But when I think about it, obviously, you know, I can change my mind. John said, imagine all the people living life in peace. Peace. Peace is so important. It was so important for John, and it's so important for all of us now. And so John knew how urgent it was. But also he knew that what we believe in becomes reality. When it first started, I was followed in a car, and my phone was tapped. probably carry on writing music forever, you know, <laughs> whatever else we're doing, because you, know? you just can't stop, you, you know, you find yourself doing it whether you want to or not. <laughs> 